Okay, so make sure you've got enough space around you guys. Get nice and comfortable. If you've got any jumper socks, you can pop them on just out and then I can tell you when to pop them off. Get, stay nice and warm so don't get yourself cold. We're going to start lying our back today. So let's place our feet just on the floor. Our knees come together, palms opened up, and just resting our shoulders into the mat. Our lower back falls into the mat. And let's bring the focus on our breathing. A nice big inhale. Long exhale, just imagining ourselves sinking into the mat. So we're relaxing through our, fat, our hands, our fingers, all the way through our arms and our back. Softening through our head. Good. Trying to keep the breath in our nose today. We're going to work through our posture. Getting nice and long through the spine so that will help us in the pull. Also just a nice full body stretch. Good, so let's hug our knees into our chest to start. Soften our shoulders and we're just gonna rock from side to side. So just giving our spine a nice massage. Good, you may want to rock around in a little circle just to massage that lower spine. Good, swap in direction. Excellent job. Okay, now stretching your legs out nice and wide, bringing your feet together, hands along by your side. We're gonna do three big full body stretches. So as if you were just getting out of bed in the morning, we're gonna inhale, reach your hands overhead, pointing our toes and stretch. And as you breathe out, bring your hands back down and relax. Good, and again, one big stretch. And as you exhale, relax. Good, one more stretch here. Inhale, reach the hands overhead. And exhale, soften back down. Excellent job, guys. So coming into our happy baby, this one's a bit of fun. So lifting your feet off the ground, have your feet facing up to the sky and you're going to hold the outside of your feet here. So we're putting a slight bit of pressure down on our feet. So we're opening up through our hips, through our groin area, just so we can feel a really nice stretch. And you can rock from side to side if you like. Don't rock too far or it'll roll over. Excellent job. Now bringing your feet down to the mat, we're going to stretch our left leg out, hugging our right knee into our chest to start with, and then we're going to cross our right knee over our left. So we're coming into a deep twist here. So our right knee is coming down to the mat, soften the knee down, soften the foot, and you're going to reach your hands out nice and wide alongside your body. Good. So as we breathe in, we're taking the breath right along our right side of our body. And as you breathe out, you're just relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the body. Good. So just getting a nice twist here. You may want to turn your head to look over your right shoulder just to get a little bit more of a stretch. Just see how you're feeling there. One more big breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, turning back to center. Good, so stretching our right leg out this time, hugging our left into our chest, and then crossing our knee over our right leg, bringing the knee down to the floor. Good, and then reaching your hands out nice and long beside your body. Good, so as we breathe in, we're feeling a really nice stretch right across our left side of our body. Just enjoying this nice twist. So it's really important. We do a little twist of our stretches just so that we can loosen off through the spine. Good, 
good. And you can turn your head to look over your left shoulder if you like a little bit more of a stretch. Excellent job. Let's take one more breath here. Big inhale. And as you exhale, rolling back. Good. So placing our feet on the floor now, we're going to come into our bridge flag. So place our hands flat on the floor. Our feet are flat, flat on the floor. And as you inhale, you're lifting your tailbone off the floor and rolling right up to your shoulders. As you exhale, roll back down the spine. So we're trying to roll just like a wave. So our tailbone comes up first, slowly roll all the way up to the shoulders and moving with the breath. So as we exhale, roll back down. Inhale, coming back up. Good, exhale, rolling back down. As we inhale, roll back up. Good. This time, keep the hips up. We're going to interlock our fingers underneath our body and roll right up onto our shoulders. So if we were looking from above, our shoulders would be tucked right under our body. Pushing the hips up to the sky, just getting a nice stretch here across our chest and through our back. Excellent job. And slowly break the hands apart. Rolling right back down. Good. Okay, let's roll onto our side when you're ready. So staying on our side, we're going to come into our gate pose. So we've done this one before. We're placing our forearm just on the mat here. Bending that bottom foot. And then with the right leg, either holding onto your foot, ankle, or under the knee, wherever's comfortable for you, you're going to lift that leg up to the sky. Well done, guys. So if you can't quite straighten out the leg, that's absolutely fine. Just holding down here or holding underneath the knee, whatever is good for you. Good. If you've got a strap as well, you might want to use that. Just see how you're feeling. Good. Excellent job. Really good. Good. Let's take three more big breaths here. So inhale. As you exhale, you can pull the foot closer to your body. Inhale. Exhale again if you're feeling like it needs a little bit more. Good. Inhale. And exhale, one last stretch. Good. Bending through the knee and bringing the knee back down. Good. Let's swap sides. So same on the other side. Bending that lower leg first either holding on under the knee, over the knee, or the foot. Try not to hold on in the back of the knee, so just avoid that area, and bring the leg up again. Good. Really nice job, guys, good. Excellent job. Okay, let's take three more breaths. So big inhale. As we exhale, you can pull the leg closer to your body. Don't force anything. No, if it doesn't feel right, just stay where you are. Inhale. And exhale again. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Slowly bring the knee down and relax there. Good. Let's push up into this position. Okay, either crossing your legs or bringing your legs out straight, whatever's comfortable for you. If your knees are lifted off the ground, pop, the, pop your pillows underneath your knees, okay? So we don't want our knees to be up, it's just gonna tighten through our hip flexors, okay? So placing our hands just on our knees here, we're gonna lengthen through the spine, pulling the shoulder blades back, open up through the chest, Good, and let's bring the focus back to our breathing. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale and relax. Inhale. 
and exhale. Good. Inhale. As we exhale, dropping the chin down to our chest. And breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Staying here. Just feeling that nice stretch right down the spine. Through the back of our neck. Good. And on your next inhale, let's turn our chin towards our right shoulder. Good. And as we exhale, drop the chin down. Inhale, bring the chin to the left side. Exhale, lowering back down. Inhale, right chin. Right chin, right shoulder. We don't have a right chin. Exhale, drop the chin back down. And again, towards the left shoulder. Dropping the chin back down. And slowly raise our head back up. Good. From here. Let's walk our hands out nice and wide. Take the gaze down to the floor and just get a nice stretch to the back. So if you can, you can lower your head down to the floor. If you've got your cushion, you can pop that underneath your head. Just getting that nice stretch right across the back. You can use your breath to get lower. So as you exhale, you may want to walk your hands slightly further away. Lower your head down lower. On your inhale, just relax. Excellent job. Let's walk our hands all the way over to the left side so that we're feeling a nice stretch to our right side here. And same again. So as you exhale, you may want to walk your hands a little bit further or lower your head a little bit more. Good, and walking your hands all the way over to the right side this time. Good, so getting a nice stretch to the left side. Good. and then let's walk back to centre, slowly coming back up. Excellent job, guys. Really, really good. Okay, let's lengthen through our spine again, find that nice posture. We really need to work on our posture, especially out the pool, because we will, it will definitely come into the pool. We've got a nice long spine, we're going to get longer with each stroke. So really working on lengthening, keeping the chest open. Good. On our inhale, let's reach our hands overhead. As you exhale, interlock your fingers and gently swing from side to side. Good. Nice job. As you exhale, break the hands apart, bringing your right hand to your left knee. And let's look over at our left shoulder. Good. On our inhale, lengthening. Exhale, twist slightly more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, turn back to centre. Good. Inhale, reach the hands up. As you exhale, left hand comes to right knee. And again, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale, length. Exhale, relax. Inhale. As we exhale, twist slightly more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Slowly turning back to center. Excellent job. Let's bring our feet together. Work into these hip flexors. These are ones that do get really tight, so it's always important to keep them 
nice and loose just so that our legs feel that they're not as stiff. So lengthen through the spine, holding on either to your feet or your knees here. You can flutter your knees if you like or keep them still, whatever is good for you. If you find they do just reach the floor quite easily and you're not feeling too much, you can come down onto your um, forearms, but only do this if you're finding you're really not getting a stretch. So just stay where you are if you're feeling anything at all. Excellent job and slowly raise back up. You guys know what's coming. We're going to do our turtle pose. So step one step forward. Hands come underneath, place them on top of your feet, open up your chest and then slowly lower your head down. So only coming as far as you're feeling comfortable. So don't force anything here. And let's work with the breath. So on your inhale, relax. As you exhale, you can lower your head down further towards your feet. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. And slowly coming back up. Excellent job. I always find that one's a good stretch just because it does a full body stretch there. So it's not only just our legs, it's also our back and hips. So this next one, we're going to stretch our legs out nice and wide, okay? Don't come so far that you're not going to be able to hold it, okay? Just come as far as you're feeling nice and comfy. If you've got your cushions, have them close by as well. So having our toes pointed up to the sky, we're going to inhale, raise our hands up. As we exhale, bring our hands down to the floor and take the gaze down to the floor as well. So if we're comfortable here, that is good. If you're finding you're really struggling, push the legs together slightly more. And we're gonna work with the breath again. So as we inhale, just relax. And as you exhale, let's walk our hands forward, even a centimeter, so not too far. Inhale. And exhale. We may want to lower our forearms down to the floor now. Inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale. As we exhale, lower even closer so you're nice and comfortable, feeling a really deep stretch now. And we're just gonna hold this pose. So just allowing naturally for our hamstrings to loosen off, loosen off through our inner leg, our groin area. Excellent job. Now we're going to make things a little bit harder, okay? So we're going to walk our hands all the way over to our left foot. So either placing your hands just in the inside of our foot here or holding onto our foot. If we can't reach your foot, that's absolutely fine. Just holding onto our ankle or above the knee, wherever's comfortable here. We don't need to overstretch this one. Take the gaze down to the knee. And again, we're going to take four big breaths here. So as you inhale, relax. On our exhale, let's lower our head closer to our leg here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Long inhale. And nice long exhale to finish. Good, so keeping the left hand either on your foot or on the mat here, we're gonna raise our right hand up and bringing your fingertips just behind our ear. So we're now on our side. Good, excellent job. We're just twisting our chest slightly up to the sky. Nice work, really good. And then either staying here or if you feel comfortable, you can then bring your hand all the way to your foot, ankle or knee. Whatever feels good or just stay where you are here. That feels good, just stay where you are. Good. 
I'm getting a really nice stretch here, right through the side, especially through the back. Nice job. Okay, turning our head to look towards me again. You're going to walk your hands all the way over to the other side this time. Either hold on to your foot or just place your hands just on the floor. Good. If you can't quite reach your foot, don't worry. Just bring your hands up to your ankle or above the knee. And again, let's look down towards our knee. And we're going to take our four breaths again. So inhale, relax. Exhale, lower our head closer towards our knee. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last breath. Inhale. Long exhale. Bring the head all the way to the knee if you can. Good. And then keeping our right hand on our foot, ankle or knee again. And we're going to bring our left hand just behind our ear. Good. So we can feel a nice length through the left side. We're getting a nice stretch here. And then you've got the option, if you like, to bring your hand towards your knee. Eh, not your knee, your foot. Or stay where you are, okay? If this feels good, just stay where you are because it's a really good one to open up through the left shoulder. If you want a little bit more, you can bring your hand down. Good. Excellent job. This isn't an easy stretch, so really well done for this one. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable. Excellent job. Okay, turning our heads to look towards our knee again. We're going to walk our hands all the way into centre and slowly coming back up. Good. Pushing our legs back in. They might be a bit stiff, so give them a wiggle. Well done, guys. Really good. Okay, so when we're ready, we're going to flip onto our hands and knees, coming into our tabletop position. So hands are in line with our shoulders, knees are in line with hips. <clears throat> Good, just imagining we're placing a book on our back. Our back should be nice and long. And we're going to come into our cat cow. So warming up through the spine. As you exhale, roll the tummy down away, lift the head up. And as you inhale, draw the belly button up and tuck the chin under. Exhale. And inhale, coming the opposite way. Good. So we want to be really slow here. You can do it in your own time, just moving with your own breath. So moving one vertebrae at a time. This should be nice and slow. Nice job. If you can bring it even further, then go for it by bringing your chin closer towards your chest, lifting your head up a little bit higher. Good. So this is a really important stretch. I know I always say this one. It's a great one to do before you're going in the pool. It really loosens off to the spine, gives you full mobility. When we're doing our kick or streamline, anything at all, it's good to have a loose spine because that is connected to everything in our body. Perfect. Okay, coming back to centre, we're going to lift our right hand up to the sky and twist. Good. And as we breathe out, we're bringing that hand underneath our body, nice big reach, and bringing our cheek down to the mat. Good. We're just going to hold here. So softening our cheek into the mat, Resting our shoulder and just enjoying this nice twist. 
Good. If you like with your left hand, you can bring it behind your back and place it between the crease between your leg and your hip. If not, just stay where you are. That one just opens up the shoulder a little bit more. Excellent job and break the hand apart, slowly pushing back up and we're going to do the same on the other side. Good, so inhale nice big reach with the left hand, open up to the chest and thread the hand underneath and bring the teeth down to the floor. Good and just relaxing here. This one's a really good one for our digestive system, all our kind of internal organs, so if you're finding it hard to sleep at night this is a good one to do before bed. And then if you like, you can bring your right hand, just placing it in the crease between our chest, our body and our hip. Excellent job, break that hand apart and slowly pushing back up. Good, well done guys. So tucking our toes under, we're going to push into our downward dog. So start by walking your heels down to the mat, pushing your hands away from you and just bringing your head between your shoulders. So a nice straight line from our top of our fingertips all the way down to our tailbone. Good. And we're going to start by moving our body just like a wave. So as we exhale, we're going to roll forward, coming up onto our tippy toes and coming into our plank. And as you inhale, you're going to roll back the way, coming back to our down dog. So as we inhale, rolling the body forward, coming right up onto our tip toes, coming into our plank. And as you exhale, we're rolling back. So imagine your body just like a wave. Our head moves first, then our shoulders, and then our hips last, and slowly coming back. So we're keeping our core nice and tight, moving with our breath here. Good. On our next exhale, rolling forward to our plank. Lower the knees down and we're going to push back into Cobra. So on our forearms here, if this is a little bit too much on the back, if you've got any sore back, come down onto your forearms, okay? So it's always this option. If not, stay on your hands. Shoulders come back, open up through the chest. Soften through these elbows, so don't overextend. Good. And let's take the breath all the way up our tummy all the way into our head. So as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften the hips. Inhale. Good, and as you exhale, let's push back to our hair pose. So our two big toes come together. Knees are nice and wide out to the side. Lower your head down and stretch your hands out. Good, let's just stay in this pose for a little bit longer. Just getting a nice stretch through our spine. Right back. <clears throat> so this is a good one if we are feeling sore back. This one just naturally loosens it off. So not forcing anything, just allowing our body just to loosen off on its own.
Okay, front jog, guys, and slowly let's roll back up. This time coming right up onto our knees here. Good. Okay, so our toes are coming underneath. We're going to sit back in our heels. So we get a nice stretch through our feet. If we've got any feet problems, just keep the feet flat, okay? So we don't need to do this one with our feet. So nice and tall. Good. We're going to inhale, raise our hands up. And as you exhale, we're going to draw our elbows down, coming into our angel wing. So we're pulling the shoulders back, the shoulder blades squeeze together, opening up through the chest. Inhale again, reach up, and we're going to come into our streamline. So nice and tall with the streamline. Exhale, draw the elbows back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Good. Inhale, raise back up. Into our streamline. Exhale again. Good, let's do two more. Inhale, raise up, streamline. Exhale, pull those shoulders back. Good, one more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, angel wings. Nice work, guys. And just bring your hands down back to our feet. And let's untuck our toes here, give them a little wiggle. Good, back into our tabletop. Tuck the toes back under and let's push back to our dead dog. Excellent job. Walking our hands all the way up to our feet, coming into our forward fold. And we're just going to relax down here. So our feet, our hands are flat on the floor. We'll bend your knees as much as you like. So you don't need to worry about straightening the legs. Just so that you're nice and comfortable. Your head is relaxed. Breathing here. Nice work, and slowly let's roll up all the way to a standing position. Good, nice job. So grab a drink if you need, guys. We're going to do our little flow section of the class. So this is when it gets a little bit harder, so don't worry about following. Just keep looking up at me, see how you get on. We are coming to the end of these classes as well, so let's make it a little bit harder today challenge you guys. Good. So coming to the top of our mat to start with, we're going to bring our feet just hip width apart again. Shoulders come back, opening up through our palms and let's find that soft breathing again. So keeping the breath in our nose. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. On our next inhale, sweep our hands overhead. As we exhale, slight back bends. So we're taking the gaze back away, stretching through. Inhale, raise back up. As you exhale, drop the hands down, coming back to our forward fold. Good. On our inhale, holding on to our elbows here and just gently rocking from side to side. So giving our lower spine a nice massage here. Really getting full movement all the way around, nice and slowly. Excellent job and drop the hands back down. On our inhale, we're coming into our halfway lift. So placing our hands on our shins, pull the shoulders back as if someone was placing a book on our back. So it should be nice and long here. Exhale, drop the hands back down. As we inhale, our left leg comes back. Exhale, drop the knee down, untuck the toe and take the gaze forward. Good, so we're getting a nice stretch here. Just relaxing. Really open up to the chest, okay? So any curved backs, we don't want that. 
So place either books, yoga blocks, or your cushions just under your hands if you need to. Okay, this is a good one to see if we've got tight hips or tight legs. I'm certainly feeling it today. You guys will be fine though. <laughs> okay, so looking forward. On our inhale, we're going to reach our hands overhead. As we exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, raise up. Good, and as you exhale, you're going to bring your right hand forward. Our left hand comes back and look over the left hand. Good. Inhale, raise back up. And again, same hand comes forward. So right hand comes forward, left hand comes back. Now we're going to make things harder. So either stay here, if you like, or you can try lifting that back leg up, holding onto the foot, okay? So if this isn't for you, just stay in the twist. That's absolutely fine. Looking forward, we still want to reach forward with that right hand. We're just getting a nice stretch here. If you've got hard floors, it might be a wee bit sore on your knees, so just be careful. We want to find our balance. Good. As we inhale, let's reach our hands up to the sky. Good. Exhale, half angel leg. So we're pulling our shoulder back, elbow comes down. Inhale, raise back up. Good. As you exhale, drop the hand back down and slowly lower the leg down. Nice and slowly. Good. We're going to walk the hands back, come into our half, um, our half split here. Okay. And we're going to work with the breath again. So on our inhale, you can raise up onto your fingertips. As you exhale, you can lower your head closer to your feet. Inhale, relax. Exhale, lower yourself down. So I'm going to let you guys do this in your own time. We're going to hold this one a little bit longer just so we can get a really nice stretch through the hamstring. Now I will give you guys, if anyone can do the full splits, please go for it. Why not? Don't worry if you can. I'm definitely not going to try today, I don't think. But if you're feeling the full splits, you can go for it. If not, just stay in our half split. Nice job. Let's take three more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Long exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Walk the hands forward, bending the leg again. Well done, guys. Good. Tucking the toe under. As we inhale, we're going to raise up into our high lunge. So our knee comes off the ground, hands reach up. Exhale, slight back bend. Inhale, raising up. As we exhale, our right hand comes forward, left hand comes back, and we're twisting that back foot. So it's coming down to the floor. Good. So we're in our warrior pose. So our front leg is bent. We're going to take the gaze over our right hand. Good. Find some stillness here. Inhale. As we exhale, we're going to slide our left hand down the back leg, come into Peaceful Warrior. Okay, so we're reaching over with the right hand. Nice big stretch right across your tummy, right across the side of your body. Exhale, soften the shoulder. Good. Inhale, reach one last time. And as you exhale, you're going to bring the outside of your forearm with your right hand, place it on that knee and reach over with the left hand. Good. Now this isn't easy, I know, but you guys can nail it. If you're not following too well, don't worry, okay? It doesn't matter. We're just trying to get a good stretch. So inhale, reach. Exhale, soften the shoulder. Inhale. And as you exhale, slide that hand back down. Peaceful warrior again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, soften the shoulder. Inhale, reach. Good, and this time as we exhale, we're gonna straighten out the front, front leg. Reach as if you're reaching for something on the shelf. So really reach with that right hand as far as you can. Good. And on your next exhale, you're gonna drop that hand down, either coming to the inside of our foot, foot or ankle, whatever's comfortable for you. Good, and reach up with the left hand. 
Nice work, guys. You're doing really, really well. And then if we like look up to our left hand. Good, remembering to breathe here. Good, one more breath, inhale. As you exhale, we're dropping the hand down, bending the leg and twist back and turn the lunge. Excellent, Doc. So that was quite a tough flow there. So really, really well done. You should be proud of yourself. You managed that one. So tucking your toe back under, let's push back to our down dog. Soften our hands down to the floor. Bend your knees as much as you like. Good. And again, as we inhale, halfway lift. Pull those shoulders back, hands to shins. Exhale, sinking the hands down. As we inhale, our right leg comes back. Good, as you exhale, drop the knee, untuck the toe and take the gaze forward. Good. Now just getting a nice stretch here. So really pull those shoulders back. Nice straight through the back. Good. If you want a little bit more, you can push your hips forward. Excellent job. Okay, as we inhale, we're going to reach our hands overhead again. Exhale, slide back down. Inhale, raise up. As you exhale, left hand comes forward, right hand comes back, twist. Take the gaze over the right hand. Inhale, raising back up to center. Good. As we exhale again, left hand comes forward, right foot comes up now. So either staying in your twist, or if you want, you can try bringing that foot up. Reach forward with the left hand, nice and tall through the spine. Good. Remembering to breathe here, it's all about balance. Good, and as you inhale, we're gonna reach your hand up nice and tall. Exhale, half angel wings, so we're Pulling that elbow down, open up through the left side of our chest. Inhale, raising back up. And as you exhale, drop the hand first and then slowly drop the foot down. Good. Excellent job. Walking the hands back, again, coming to our half split and working with the breath here. So if anyone wants to come into the full split, that's fine. If you can hold it for this long, I'm very impressed. So again, as you inhale, come up onto your fingertips. As you exhale, drop the head closer to the knee and relax. Good, inhale. Exhale, draw the head closer to your knee. Inhale. And exhale. Good, so doing this in your own time, just moving with the breath nice and slowly. Yeah, if you want to try the full split, you can do. But only if you can hold it. Good. Let's take two more breaths in your own time. Good. And on your inhale, for your last breath, bend forward again, coming into our low lunge. Good. We're going to tuck our toe under. This time, as we inhale, raise up onto high lunge. Good. Exhale, slide back down. Inhale, raising back up. As you exhale, left hand comes to our forward, right hand comes back. Again, warrior two. So bend to that front leg. Hands are in line with our shoulders. And we're just going to find some stillness here. So finding the balance. Good. 
Good, on our next exhale, our right hand slides down the leg, reach over with the left hand, peaceful warrior. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, relax. Inhale. And as we exhale, we're bringing the outside of the left forearm to the, to the left knee and reach over with the right hand. Good. Inhale, nice big reach as far as you can. Exhale, soften the shoulder. Inhale, reach. Exhale, relax. Inhale. Good, and on our exhale, peaceful warrior again. So sinking that right hand down, reach over with the left. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And as we exhale, straighten out that front leg and reach as far as you can with the left hand. Good. As if you were reaching for something on the shelf. Excellent job. And as you exhale, either lower your hand to the inside of your foot, foot or ankle, whatever's comfortable for you. And when you're ready, lifting up with the right hand and taking your gaze up to your right hand if you like. Good. So remembering to breathe on this one. This is a really good one for our hamstring through our back and glutes. Excellent job. And on your next exhale, let's lower our hand back down, back to our low lunge. Nice work. Bring that leg back. Let's come into our hair pose. So two big toes come together, knees out to the side, resting our head into the mat. Good. And relax here. Just finding your breath again. Good. And when you're ready, nice and slowly rolling back up onto all fours. Good. Well done, guys. We're almost there. So tucking your toes underneath, let's push back into our downward dog. Good. And we're going to come into our pigeon pose. So as you inhale, we're raising up our left leg, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the knee underneath the body, placing the knee between both hands and walking that back foot back. So we've done this one loads and loads of times. So make sure our hips aren't rolling to a side. If we're finding we are rolling, really bring them back to center, okay? So we want to be right in line, our hips want to be level. Either coming onto your hand, you can stay here. You can come down onto your forearms or you can reach the hands out, bringing the head down. Just whatever is comfortable for you here. And we're just going to hold this one for a little bit longer. So just getting a really good stretch especially through the glutes and through the hips here. Good. Excellent job. So just taking another two breaths here. Good. And now I'll give you the option if you want to try the mermaid pose. We can't do a class without giving it a wee shot. So if you like, you can lift that leg up, holding on with the right hand. Now either stay in here. If this feels good and this feels right, you're getting a nice stretch, just stay where you are, okay? If you want, you can try the full mermaid pose. Bringing the foot in the elbow crease, lifting up the left hand and linking on. Okay, this isn't for everyone, so please don't worry if you're not quite there. If you've got a strap as well, you can try it with your strap. It's just a little bit of fun. 
you're wobbling about it, please don't worry. That was very, very wobbly before. Good. Really well done, guys. Good. Even lifting the leg up, you're going to get a little bit deeper of a stretch right through the front of the hip. So if you can lift this leg up, that's great. Good. Really nice job. Okay, if you're in mermaid pose, break the hands apart nice and slowly. Bring the hands down and lower the foot down. Well done. Good. Tuck the toes underneath. Let's push back into our down dog. Good. And again, with the left leg this time, as we inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, bring the knee between the hands. Good. I've just mixed up legs, so hopefully you guys are on it and you've got the right leg here. Walk the back foot back. Good. Lining the heel up with the left hip. Either staying on our hands here, come down onto our forearms, or reaching all the way out. So really careful if you are reaching all the way and bringing your head down, we're not tipping to one side. Nice work, good. Excellent job. So just taking another two breaths in your own time here. When you're ready, if you like, you can try lifting that back foot up. Good. So holding on first. If we're finding this pretty easy, you can give the mermaid pose a good try, but don't worry about if you're wobbling. Good. It's a very frustrating one. <laughs> Wobbling all over the place. <laughs> well done, though. Really good. The amount of times I've fallen over in this one, it has taken me a good year, so don't worry. Excellent job. Good. And breaking the hands apart nice and slowly. Hand comes down and lower the leg down. Good. Tuck the toe under, let's push back to our down dog. And then walk your hands all the way to our feet and slowly raising all the way up. Good, okay. Last stretch before we finish. We're gonna to come to the side of our mat. We're gonna bring our legs nice and wide, okay? Our feet are facing forward, good. We're gonna stretch our hands all the way up to the sky. As we exhale, our hand comes down to our hips. Good, and we're gonna fold over. So we're coming to 90 degrees here. Good, once we're here, we're gonna draw our hands down, fold the rest of the back down. Good. So our hands want to be nice and comfortably reaching. If we're struggling in any way, walk your feet slightly wider, okay? So the wider you have your feet, the easier it will be to lower the hands down. So we're just gonna relax through the head, Allow the hands just to go floppy, so everything needs to just relax over the hips. And just breathe here, so getting a nice stretch. Good. Let's bring our left hand into the center of the mat. You're gonna raise up with the right hand, following up your arm, reaching up and take the gaze up to our right hand. So now we're feeling a little bit deeper through the left hip, through the left inner leg. Good, breathing here. Excellent job. And as you exhale, drop the hand back down to the floor. Good, same again on the left side. As you inhale, follow the left hand up the arm and then taking it up to the sky.
Excellent job. And as you exhale, drop the hand back down. Good. As you inhale, we're going to walk our hands over to our left side. Exhale, bending the leg and raising the toes up of the right hip on the right side of your foot. Good. So our right leg's nice and straight. Bending here. If you're struggling to come all the way down, that's fine. Just keep nice and tall here. You don't need to bring your leg all the way down. Good. And just feeling that nice stretch across the right side. Excellent job. And let's walk back up. And swap sides here. Good. Excellent job, guys. Really good. Good. Slowly coming back up. Excellent. We're going to bend our knees this time. Push our knees out to the side. Good. Sitting back, opening up to the chest. And you're going to sweep your hands up. Good. Holding here. Bring the hands down in prayer. Sink the hips. So this is quite hard. Really good. Stay nice and strong. You can do it. Good. This is easy for you guys. And slowly raising back up. Walking the feet in. And that is you guys. Namaste. Thank you so much. We are coming to the end now. You guys are going back in the pool soon. So try and keep up with the stretching. It will really, really help you, especially the recovery. We're going to be able to work harder as well if our body's recovered. So keep it up. And hopefully see you next week as well.